Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.26. A person who is learned in the path of spiritual advancement through knowledge should not bewilder the intelligence of ignorant people by instructing them to give up their prescribed duties and engage in the cultivation of jnana. Rather, by properly performing his own actions in a composed and detached state of mind, he should engage such people in their prescribed duties. Sar Ardavarshini O Arjuna, a man of knowledge should not bewilder the ignorant who are attached to their actions by telling them there is no purpose in performing mundane activities. Become perfect like me by renouncing your prescribed duty and cultivate transcendental knowledge, jnana. Such ignorant people are particularly attached to the performance of their prescribed duty because their hearts are impure. Although you may be perfect by performing selfless action, you can encourage others to engage in their prescribed duties. You yourself become an ideal example by performing your prescribed duty properly. You should well say to me, in Srimad Bhagavatam 6.9.50, you have said, Swayam Nihi Shreyasam Vidvan Na Vakti Agyai Karmahi Narati Rogino Padyam Vanchato Pi Bishaktamaha. A good physician does not prescribe a diet that is indigestible, even though the patient may desire it. Similarly, a person knowing the highest welfare does not instruct an ignorant person to engage in his prescribed duty. Thus, you have therefore contradicted your own statements. This is correct, answered Sri Bhagavan. But I gave that instruction in relation to Bhakti, when the subject of instruction was Bhakti itself. Now, I am giving the instruction in relation to jnana, so there is no contradiction. Jnana depends on purity of heart, and purity of heart depends on the selfless performance of one's prescribed duty. Bhakti, however, is independently powerful. She does not depend upon purity of heart. If one is able to arouse fate in bhakti, one can disturb the intelligence of a person who is attached to karma, and it is not inappropriate. Those who have developed fate in bhakti have surpassed the needs to perform their prescribed duty. It is said in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.20.9. Tavat karmani kurvita na nirvidyeta yavata mat katha shravanado va shradha yavan na jayati. A person should perform his occupational duty as long as he has not developed renunciation or awakened a taste in hearing and reciting topics about me. Furthermore, Dharman Sandhyaya Ya Sarvam Mam Bajeta Satu Satamaha Srimad Bhagavatam 11.11.32 Those who give up all varieties of Varn Ashram and worship me are indeed the most elevated class of saintly persons. Sarva Dharman Parityajya Mam Ekam Shradanam Vraja Aham tvam sarva pape bio moksha yasyami ma sujaha. Bhagavad Gita 18.66 Completely abandoning all bodily and mental dharma, such as varna and ashram, fully surrender to me alone.
Twaktva Svadarmam Charan Ambujam Harer Bajan Apakvo Ta Patet Tato Yadi Srimad Bhagavatam 1.5.17 A person who gives up his prescribed duties to engage in the service of Sri Hari's lotus feet can never be unsuccessful, even if he falls down while in the immature stage. One should deliberate upon all these statements. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti The purpose of performing karma, once prescribed duty, is to attain that knowledge, jnana, which leads to bhakti. Those who do not know this fact are ignorant, and those who are attached to their prescribed duty because of this ignorance are called karma sangi. A jnani should only engage such ignorant persons in the duties prescribed for them in scripture, because if their intelligence is bewildered, they will lose faith in the necessity of performing that duty. Under such circumstances, even jnana will not be able to manifest in their hearts, and thus they will deviate from the paths of performing their duty, karma, and seeking knowledge, jnana. The same does not apply to giving instructions on bhakti, however, because according to scripture, instructions on bhakti are auspicious for everyone, under all circumstances. Therefore, by giving instructions on bhakti, a preacher of bhakti will make everyone perfect. Srimad Bhagavatam 5.5.15 Risha Badeva said, Only my abode and my mercy are worth praying for. Instructions on devotion to me should be given by fathers to their sons, teachers to their disciples, and kings to their subjects. One should not become angry with a person who receives instructions, but does not follow them. Even those who are ignorant of knowledge, of fundamental spiritual truths, tattva, yan, and bewildered about their proper duty, should not be engaged in karma. What goal will be achieved by engaging a person blinded by delusion in fruitive activities, thus throwing him further into the dark wheel of this material world? Nothing will be achieved. While commenting on this verse of Srimad Bhagavatam, Srila Shrita Swami says, If someone instructs others about engaging in karma instead of giving instruction on bhakti, he incurs sin. According to Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur, the present verse, Jo Yayet Sarva Karmani, Gita 3.26, is not for those who are preaching the message of bhakti, but it is to be considered by those who give instructions on jnana. <laughs>